ended the book of the last book of Psalms, Psalm 150. What he was simply saying was that that everything that has the ability, praise God. A cow has the ability to move. The dog has the ability to bark. The cat has the ability to eat out. But God has created us. Unlike any other creature. Well, if he didn't have the most ability to any other creature, why should he not pray to God? For he woke us up this morning. The old people say he started us on our way. He picked us up. He turned us around. He placed our feet on the solid ground. So what are you going to do today? Knowing that Christ has saved you with his blood. We are not justified by ourselves, church. God is holy because he's God. God is righteous because he's God. We are righteous because of God. We are holy because of God. But thanks be to God that he has redeemed us through the blood of Jesus Christ. He sent Jesus to the cross to die for your sins and to die for my sins. And what we need to do is it's not essential to our salvation. But we need to learn this. Whenever we do something wrong, we ought to stop asking God to forgive us. Because when he justified us, that was a once for all sacrifice. And if it was a once for all sacrifice, that means he forgave us for our sins of the past. He forgave us for our sins that we are committed now. And he has forgiven us for our sins that we will commit in the future. Yeah. And even on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yes, so instead of us asking God to forgive us, we are thanking for his already forgiveness. Yeah. But what are you arising to do? We are arising to take our place, to stand up and declare our godly authority. We are rising to spread God's grace. We are rising to live wisely on a solid foundation in a foolish world. 